What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This one is on a new program called Kayatka, and I actually shouldn't say it's a new program because it's been around for a while. Um, I only recently started using it though, um, because I never really thought I could like use it for anything that would be like helpful for me. Um, because a lot of stocks from like a few years ago were made in this program, and they really kind of went outdated. But then I started messing around with this program, and I've tried it on a few things, um, such as avatars, uh, backgrounds, some s simple manipulations that I had. I kind of just added them in there for effect, and a I got a lot of good results. Um, sadly, I didn't save any of them because they were just experimentation, just goofing around, or else I would show them off. But I do have a little pack of some that I made. And uh, they're really cool. You can get some really awesome colors like that. Um, that's a really cool pattern. Um, just look, these are pretty freaking cool. Um, if you use them right, that one's really neat. Um, just yeah, there's so many, um, so many options. Um, so basically, what this program does is create 2D fractals uh, and it just makes them bright, bright and glowy and beautiful. Um, so when you open this program, the download is in the description. If you want to check it out, the, I'm using the free version. Um, I suggest you use it too, unless you want to. The really only difference I've noticed is that you can save bigger images, um, which doesn't really matter that all that much. Um, but there is a uh, size limit for saving them uh, with the free version. Um, but yeah, so uh, when you open this, it will have a bunch of different fractals load up for you, and these are just the different worlds. Um, you can go down here and hit New Random Worlds, and just keep going until you see a pattern you like. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to click for a little bit. And uh, I don't know, I'm just going to go with this one. It's kind of kind of looks like a galaxy or something. Um, so basically to go over this, uh, over here this is the width and height obviously. Select the, um, select how big it is. I, you can't go over a thousand something. I believe it's like 1200 or 1300. You can't go over that. Um, like width, width wise and then the height will adjust automatically um, uh, this right here ultra quality I believe this just increases the quality um, self-explanatory um, I don't really um, <clears throat> know if it makes that big of a difference I just know it increases your render time um, just a bit and as you can see whenever you make a change it'll update with this bar down here so if you do something and the change does not show up right away just make sure this bar is finished it's a full rendering process. Um, down here, anti-alias mode. Um, you can change this. Um, I go Mitchell Nitravali, whatever, whatever that says. And then um, I usually adjust blur depending on um, what the thing is, uh, like what kind of fractal it is, uh, and the pattern and things. Um, so I don't really know what ring does, um, but yeah. I just I usually just mess with the blur. I don't really even touch the ring. Um, the blur some you can get some really cool blurring uh, effects with certain patterns. As you can see, um, I don't remember which one it was. I believe it was this one with some blur. Yeah, this is like some blur. It looks really cool. Um, then uh, down here, this is where it's like the good part is. So if you don't like this color scheme, uh, you can go to palette and change colors, or you can go to shaders change colors um, I don't transforms uh, I guess that's just changes the pattern with the same um, color scheme in case you want that and then uh, selectors um, I, I just keeps the same colors but um, uh, like rearranges them I guess um, yeah then you guys understand you can see for yourself obviously um, and yeah that's basically the left tab I don't really touch anything else because um, I haven't needed to um, haven't really seen any differences with the stuff the other stuff but um, coming over here to the right side then the brightness here obviously these are just some uh, settings you'd be familiar with in Photoshop or Cinema 4D um, they're in both but um, I usually turn the brightness down a little bit and then I turn the gamma down to about 2 so it's not overwhelming that's usually what I like about a two. Actually, this might, this one you might actually roll a three. Um, and then these I don't usually touch, but obviously you can 
change them as you see fit and then uh, you keep going down uh, down here is the curves um, I usually just um, keep them the same but you can go through and change the red green blue alpha settings or the overall and all you need to do is just click the dots and adjust so I can make it bright uh, or bright with like a contrast and then just go to reset if you want it back to normal uh, then down here you can change the background color with uh, in adding more reds, greens, blues obviously self-explanatory it's a really awesome program guys um, I suggest you check it out uh, learn something it's pretty cool uh, this is like a short tutorial but um, hopefully you guys will check out this program mess around uh, maybe come up with something cool and thank you guys for watching peace